today I have the privilege of speaking with Marit Smith from Alpamin Resources. And of course, Alpamin is the highest grade tin resource in the world, about four times higher than most other operating tin mines in the world. So Moritz, tell us why is tin a critical material? Tracy, tin is ranked top of the list in terms of the metal most likely to be impacted by new technologies. And this came out of a study instituted by Rio Tinto, an independent study back in 2018. Tin is primarily used in solder, which as you know, is the glue that holds our electronics and technology world together. So really it is absolutely critical in all circuit boards and critical in technology developments going forward. Well, I think you just answered my next couple of questions, which was what are the principal uses of tin? And I'd like to thank Jack Lifton for writing these for me. And what are your markets? Where are your markets showing demand growth? Do you want to add anything further to either of those questions? Well, half of tin is used in solder. Importantly, tin replaced lead in 2005. As you know, lead is a hazardous metal. Tin became very relevant in clean solder, which is critical to connect our electronics industry. In that regard, at least half of tin is used in solder. We do see significant growth aligned to the electronics industry going forward, around 5% a year. And Alfman is well placed in taking advantage of the growth in demand in tin. Of course, now my next concern, Moritz, is going to be, what is the lifeline of your, your mining operation? Because it sounds to me like we need you quite badly. Tracy, we are very confident that Alfman will produce for many decades to come. However, when we did our initial drilling campaign five years back, we stopped drilling at a level where it justified this initial startup mine. And that gives us a life of mine until around 2028. We are, as of today's date, expending a significant amount of internally generated cash flow towards a further drilling campaign, improving up our resources at depth and adjacent to our ore body. So yes, currently it's delineated to 2028, but we are very comfortable that Alfman will produce for decades to come. And we look forward to the successful outcomes of our various drilling campaigns ongoing as we speak. So all of you investors out there, when you're thinking tin, think critical material, think we need it for technology and think Alphamin resources. I have one more question though for you, please Moritz. We want to know, where do you see tin price going? And I'm sure you're going to tell me forecasts are for fools, but where, I mean, obviously tin prices are going to have to go up. What are your thoughts on this? Well, Tracy, we do expect demand um, to grow for tin for at least, at, a least, at least 5% a year going forward. There are a lot of tin resources in Indonesia, China, and Myanmar. But those resources require a high tin price to justify economic extraction. In our opinion, that price is around $30,000 a ton of tin, which is where we currently trade. However, bear in mind, these various brownfield expansions take years to come through, right? So there will be a lag in supply catching up with demand. We may see f further spikes in the short term, but certainly from an economic perspective, around $30,000 a ton for supply to keep up with demand growth. Thank you so much for joining us today and bringing us up to speed or giving us a good update on Tin Moritz uh, from Alpha Mint Resources. Thank you. Thank you.